Hello, I'm Rebecca and today we're going to have a quick look at alternative text and how to use it to enhance the accessibility of your files. Okay, so what is alternative text, the alt tag or alt text? It's a piece of descriptive text that conveys the meaning and context of an image, a video, a chat, etc. Why would we use them? So anybody who uses a screen reader like Microsoft Narrator or JAWS will receive the alt text in replacement for the image or other media. So the alt text will allow them to have a fuller experience of your document. What should the alt text contain? One or two sentences of non-subjective description um, of the image or, or chat. Try to include all of the information if it's an infographic and also the um, size and shape and color of things and the expression on people's faces. When should we use it? Well, we should be using it all the time. If you look at it from the point of view from someone who uses a screen reader, um, then they will need not only need to know all the information in charts and infographics, but also why you used images and what the images are. Um, when would you not use them? Well, there are occasions that you wouldn't use an, um, an alt text, um, and that would be if it's a purely decorative element. For example, if at the end of your document you've decided to use a little squiggle. OK, let's have a look at a few examples. OK, so in this example, I'm in Word and I have a document with two photographs of groovy cats. To add the alternative text to the first image, I'm going to click on it, click on picture and then select alt text. And you'll see that I've already filled this in and described it as a cat, a ginger striped cat with sunglasses and a black floppy hat. The other image is of Stan Getz. I've labelled that as Stan Getz and I've said it's a black and white vintage photo of Stan Getz sat on a plain steps with his saxophone. I've then gone on to add some more context of what he's wearing. Um, this would really depend on what the document was about. If this was a document about vintage fashion, this would be really useful information. Moving down, you'll see there's a little squiggle. So I've just identified that as purely decorative. Okay. In this example, you'll see I'm in PowerPoint. All of these examples are using the online products. I've got a, I have a video here. So to add an alternative text to the video, I click on it and then click format and then alt text here. And this time I've described this as smooth jazz. Three hours of smooth jazz with no visuals to relax to. So I'm suggesting that, that the video is three hours long and that it's about smooth jazz music. Um, and I've also mentioned that there's no change in the visuals, so there's nothing to miss there. OK, so in this last example, you'll see that I'm in Excel online and I've created a chat about musical instruments. To add some um, alt text to this, I'm going to right mouse click on it and you will find that often you can access the alt text via the right mouse click. And in this instance, I've used the title of the chat, which instrument jazz musicians play, and then I've merely added the information from the chat, so the percentages, because that really is the pertinent information that you're going to want to know. Okay. All right, so thank you very much for listening. Um, do please remember to use your alternative text. This video was recorded in Microsoft Stream.